Hey y'all, welcome to Lions Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I'll be doing the daily tarot for all signs and that is every sign in the zodiac for August the 11th, 2021. Now y'all keep in mind, okay? Timing is fluid. So if it fails to resonate with you for August the 11th, it still can resonate with you in the future. And now, I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason, okay? So <clears throat> if you're here and you're watching this, it's something you need to know. We're going to start with our Work Your Life Oracle deck. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and God. What do we all need to know? August the 11th, 2021. We got this for the reading the day before yesterday. Share your voice. Share your voice. For the 8-8 eight, eight quarter reading. Share your voice. All right. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Share your voice, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all something. When I was, thank you, Spirit Guides. When I was shuffling earlier before the reading, that popped out. <laughs> Share your voice popped out. It's like, oh, okay. It popped out with a couple other parts, too. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Angels, ancestors, and God. What we all need to know. August the 11th, 2021. Angel Oracle deck is saying, Communicate clearly. <laughs> clearly is something that you're going to have to talk about. Man, I've been getting communicate clearly so much. And you know we got to pick one from the Ancestor Spirit Oracle cards. Yes, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, God. Angels, Ancestors, and God. What do we all need to know? All this feeling. Okay, so the Ancestor Spirit Oracle card. Reconnect with Mother Earth. The plant garden harvest. Oh, you see those butterflies? I love butterflies, y'all didn't know. Okay, reconnect with Mother Earth. Let's pull some affirmators to her. Thank you, Spirit God. Angels, Ancestors, and God. What else do we need to know? August 11, 2021. Okay, so the Affirmator's Tarot deck is saying the chariot is time for movement. It's time for movement. And the sun, yes, once you start moving, you will just have everything you want and need. It's time to start moving and the outcome energies. The Eight of Cups, you're on a spiritual journey. Yes, oh my goodness. This you guys, August the 11th, <laughs> 8-11, the portal is still open as well. Okay, share your voice. I do believe that's an action card, y'all. 76, it's time to get to work. Share your voice, stop waiting. Okay, you are being called to share your voice, perhaps by speaking up in a relationship or through writing, speaking, singing, or some other form of creative expression. We each hold a true depth within us that longs to be expressed. Sculpted for lifetimes, the voice of your soul is like no other. It carries with it wisdom that can only be gained through soul history and growth. By remembering, tapping into, and expressing this unique tone, we not only heal ourselves, we also heal the planet at large. When you share your voice, you unlock something in the universe and call a missing piece of you home. Your individual voice is the most powerful sound current on the planet. If you have kept your soul's voice silenced or held back, chanting or singing could be truly life-changing for you. As we shed the layers of our personality and start letting our unique soul speak through us, we discover that we actually have a clear message that longs to be shared. The more we speak it, the clearer it gets. There has never been a better time in history than right now to rise up, speak your truth, and share your soul's voice. If you feel fearful, know that you are not alone and that the world needs your unique tone in order to harmonize. 
as we each rise up and share our song, we make it easier for the next person to do the same. Express yourself. Share your voice. Speak to those who can hear you. Because you're moving to communicate clearly. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love Brittany. I love when it goes like this. They always do though, don't they? If you watch me, you already know. The situation requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In-person discussions are preferable, but if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward. Because it's time to reconnect with Mother Earth. Yes, and I already said it today. I was like, you know what? Today, I'm taking my lunch break and I'm going outside in the grass and put my feet in the grass again today. What? Okay. Reconnect with Mother Earth. Incan culture is renowned for engineering and adaptation. The Incan people transformed the plains, deserts, mountains, and tropical jungles by constructing roads, buildings, terraces, canals, and, irrig and irrigation network. Crop rotation and fertilization were used to produce crops, including potatoes, nuts, maize, pepper, avocados, tomatoes, and quinoa. The Incas appeased their deities with rituals, songs, and offerings, as when unhappy, they could cause droughts, floods, and earthquakes, all of which would affect the crops. The calendar was marked with religious ceremonies that were held in holy places like Huacas. The Incan goddess Pacamama is akin to Mother Earth. She represents the feminine soul of nature and is the provider of life, food, animals, and water. Connected to the mountains, she could cause earthquakes, but also had the power to sustain life. She was ever-present in the Incan life, and many shrines were devoted to her. The ancestors speak. Mother Earth is calling to you. This card is a reminder of how important it is for you to be outside in nature. You may have drawn this card because you have been too busy to go outdoors. It's time for you to connect with trees, plants, and the earth. You are encouraged to learn more about gardening and horticulture. Planting some herbs, tending to your garden, or spending more time outdoors will benefit your mind and body. And the div div divinatory meaning. There is a great joy in eating straight from your garden. Consider growing your herbs, fruits, and vegetables. If you already grow your own plants, this might be a nudge to get out and give them some TLC. Being out in the garden is great for your energy. It is relaxing for you and good for the environment too. All right, now you're going to the chariot. Movement, movement, movement. It's time for movement, movement. Oh, this, okay. Two major arcana out of three tarot cards. The chariot shows us the constant tug of war between our conscious selves and our ID-based drives. It encourages development of a healthy ego. That is to say, a sense of who you are and what you want in life, but it definitely wags a finger at an ego that tips into arrogance or self-righteousness. And it cautions against letting our subconscious urges get the best of us. Like a charioteer reining in two horses, we can harness our destinies and ride towards them with ease. As long as we maintain balance and awareness. Look out Spartacus, here's the affirmation. I know what I want and I know what's best for myself, which means that sometimes I have to play bad cop with myself. Mustache not included, but heavily encouraged. And now you move into the middle of the sun. So once you start movement, you'll have the sun. Mm, yes, 19 in the major arcana. Oh, the sun. The glorious sun. Dust off the deck chairs and find the Lene. The sun just rolled up with a thousand beam entourage. This card is a metaphysical summer's day and signals success, 
Well, radiance, energy, unlimited positive harmonic encouragement from the universe. Uh, you know, the usual. <laughs> but enough talk about sunshine. Time to get out there and enjoy its rainbow droppings so you can have some real life radiance to talk about later. Here's the affirmation. I bask in the unconditional positivity that shines on me now and use it to energize all of my endeavors. How's that for a renewable resource? And then you got the Eight of Cups as the outcome energies. Yes. <laughs> Water energy. This card signals the end of an era. Whatever you've accomplished or accumulated up to now is no match for the magnetic pull of a deeper, more spiritual life. You may be choosing this path because the other led to complete emotional burnout, or you may just be in an enlightenment-seeking sort of mood. Whatever the case, you're ready to burn it all down and head for the Bodhi tree, or drink some kombucha and read a pamphlet on meditation. Here's the affirmation. I open to a greater consciousness than I've ever known before. But I won't forget that I'm still human from the block. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get into this reading. You, my people, it is time to start to share your voice. You may think that you have no voice to share. However, the cards are telling you, you're watching this. There's something you need to share. Share it. Because you've got to communicate about whatever you're dealing with. And guess what? Guess what help aid in what you're needing to find? Mother Nature. Get out there and meditate while you're walking. Let the sun shine down on your face. Enjoy some natural vitamin D. Take your shoes off. Put your feet in some soft grass and get grounded. Because you have got a goal that it's time for you to start moving on. Okay, you could be writing a book. You could be, that's still speaking, that's still sharing your voice. You could be a singer, right? That's still singing, that's still sharing your voice. You could be an artist, you could be a rapper, you, you a painter as an artist, what I mean. You could be a painter. Guess what? That is still sharing your voice. It is time for you to put that movement in motion because you got the sun. You got the sun right there. So whatever you're in with now, Time to end it because you have a much spiritual life, a much more spiritual life ahead of you. And it's time to tap into that, tap into every single gift that God has given you and to use it by sharing your voice. Okay, let's start communicating clearly about what you truly want for yourself. All right. And do it within Mother Nature. Man, I'm telling you, it feels even better. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for coming to Lions Den Tarot. And make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. It's Lions underscore Den underscore Tarot. And y'all, make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Camille in the Lions Den. I will be coming back and sharing my voice because I want to inspire the world. And I pray I'm inspiring each and every one of you. Have a blessed day.